I would have done anything to grow bigger. There's so much behind this fence. I think I know what this is. I think I've heard Mom talk about it before. I think it's the, uh, the forest. Tiny, Tiny, come here. Hey, Mom, what do you know about the forest? Well, it didn't scare your father as much as he did to me. He explored there a couple of times and told me about it. It's a dark, shadowy, dangerous place. And the wild forest cats who live there are quick and ferocious. They have to fight every day to survive, and only the strongest warriors make it through. Your father also explained that there are four divided clans that lived under a warrior code. If you follow that code until you die, you will go on to their afterlife. Will we ever get to go to the forest, Mom? No, Tiny. Forest cats have fleas. You're much safer here. I mean it. This is the place for you. The savages are scourged under the name of good cats. We would always go out in the garden a few times, but Socks and Ruby would never let me play with them. And Mother would never say it, but I know she liked them better than me. Will you show me how to fight too? Ha, forget it, Run. Get lost, little pipsqueak. We don't like you. Come on, guys. I just want to play. You're unwanted, even by the two legs. And you know what two legs do to unwanted kittens? <laughs> they get thrown in the river. <laughs> <laughs> Being big and strong is all that matters to anyone. And I wasn't going to let them throw me in a river. I would never let them. I had to get far away, as far as I could. Wow. The trees are a lot bigger than I thought. Actually, everything is way bigger than I thought. But I'm not scared. I'm not. Because I'm strong. Whoa! This is the biggest thing I've ever seen! I made it! I made it! I made it! What are you doing here? This is ThunderClan territory. ThunderClan? Is that what Mom was talking about? With the four clans in the forest? Thistleclaw, he's only a kid. It's not like he's posing a huge threat to us. An intruder is an intruder, Bluefur. You're only saying that because he's a kitty pet. You've always been too soft on them. But I think the kitty pet should be taught a lesson. One he'll remember! Tigerpaw, that is enough. Warriors do not need to kill cats to win a battle, remember? <laughs> I was only defending our territory. And you've done that. This kit has learned his lesson. Yeah, you'll never forget me, will you? I wanted to go home, but there was no home left for me. And now the forest was not a choice. I moved on to my last option. A bigger and stranger tool-like place. It was like walking into a bad dream. Hey you, little bit. Yeah, you heard me. Want something to eat? You don't mind sharing? I can't resist kittens down in their luck. Oh, mm, this is delicious. What is it? It's a uh, chicken. I'm surprised you don't know you being a kitty pet and all. What's a kitty pet? I keep hearing that word. It's what you are. Cats that live with two legs. I mean, I would ask what you're doing out here, but hey, none of my business. Well, I didn't live with two legs anymore. I was no longer a kitty pet. I didn't want to wear this collar, but it just wouldn't break off from my neck. <laughs> hey, get a load of this! <laughs> <laughs> stupid collar, stupid cats. Ah! A dog! Dogs eat cats! And, and... Huh? This dog is old. I suppose too old. He couldn't have eaten me. Come here, Goku. That's when I noticed the tooth. 
Stupid collar. Yeah, you'll never forget me, will you? No, I'll never forget. Excuse me, can you please share some food with me? Where'd that tooth come from? Oh, this tooth. I ripped it right out of a dog's head. The dog was going after some food I had stashed away. So I had to put it in its place. It was pretty fierce, but it couldn't stand up against me. Once it was dead, I pried open its mouth and took this trophy. Is that a fact? You. You killed the dog and took its tooth? Yep. <laughs> Help yourself. Hey. You there. You in the tire. Uh-huh. Are you talking to me? My name is Bone, and this is Brick. We want to speak with you. Is it true that you fight dogs? Um... Yes? Very good. Please follow us. This dog won't let any of us near its food. We've tried to chase it away, but it's too big. It's too strong. Will you fight the dog for us? Maybe he was lying the whole time. Kit, you can either fight the dog or not. I wasn't sure what to do. The dog was huge. I didn't want to fight it. I was only a kid. But all these cats here were savages. Too afraid and too hungry. We were all afraid together. I couldn't run away anymore. I had to fight even if it killed me. Why isn't the dog looking directly at me? What's it growling at? He's afraid of my shadow? Dogs are so stupid. Maybe I'll grab a different kind. I know it isn't true, I didn't beat that dog, but I wasn't about to let any of these cats know that. Thank you! Thank you so much, you saved their lives! What's your name? That was the first time anyone here asked for my name. I was truly touched. My name was not Tiny anymore. My name is Scourge. I should be happy. For the first time ever, things are going my way. I should enjoy it. But I can't. Not yet. Since that day, all the cats bring me offerings. Bones, teeth, claws, food. These cats don't like me, but they fear me. That's just as good. Maybe even better. If Socks and Ruby could see me now, they would know they were wrong about me. I had to have ice in my veins to do everything I did. I expect the ice to melt, but it doesn't. It just gets colder and colder. And I welcome it. I have everything I ever wanted, control over every stray in this two-leg place. No one comes here without my say, so everyone fears me. So it's true. Tiny, I mean, Scourge, our two legs abandoned us. We don't know how to get our own food. Will you help us, please? Why should I? My own cats barely have enough to eat. It's not my problem you're too stupid and weak to feed yourselves. But, but Scourge, we're your litter mates. Doesn't blood mean anything? Oh yes, blood is everything. But the only blood I'm interested in flows from my enemies. My cats bathe in blood. This is how we survive. We are Blood Clan! Get these two out of my sight! They are not welcome in Blood Clan territory! Yes, Scourge. Oh yes, the blood of my enemies will flow before I am content. And then, one night, many moons later, the thing I hoped for, waited for, longed for the most, 
just presents itself to me like a gift. How perfect. We are not kind strangers. <laughs> Is that Scourge? He's no bigger than an apprentice. What do you want? I am Tigerstar, leader of Shadow Clan, and I have a proposition for you. He explains to me that he has enemies in the forest. In exchange for my help, he will give me a portion of the territory in there. It's an amazing situation. I can tell the time for Tiger Star and me to settle our differences it has not arrived. Not quite yet, but I can be patient. I lead Blood Clan far away from the Two Lake Place and into the forest along with Shadow Clan for the battle. And there, at last. Blood Clan, attack! What do you think you're doing? Attack now! Only I can command Blood Clan. You traitor! Everyone said I was too small, too weak. But I've proven them all wrong. I've learned how to be strong, how to live for blood. Because that's the key, the only answer. I am leader of Blood Clan. I am Scourge, and I have won!